So this video is about how to, um, the fancy way of saying it, is to have the app or device for TD Snap, either TD Snap Motor Plan, which is the one you're seeing right now, or the TD Snap Core First. They both work the same way because the settings are the same. So how to get them to ignore repeated button taps. So that looks like a student who taps a button multiple, multiple times. Um, so occasionally it's during the exploration time. Occasionally it's just because they like the sound, how, how that word sounds. But now you're, you're, you've are you given them a lot of exploration time and you really want that not to occur. Um, so you can do this before you give them the device so it doesn't have that capability within the app. Or if this is already happening and you want that uh, feature to be turned off. So what you do is you go to settings, which is in the top right hand corner with the little gear and pencil. And then you bring this on the bottom, you have all of the settings. So you bring this up with the, by pressing little arrows in the bottom left hand corner. And you're going to click on user, um, which is that little bar. There's button, paid, page set, user system. So you click user. And then on the left hand um, side, there's user preferences, access method, and data tracking. You want to click on access method. So right now you are on touch enter, which just means you're using your the direct touch um, of a finger or stylus or whatever you're using to um, access the system. And so what you wanna click on is delay between selections. So that means that it's not gonna let them press a button a thousand times. Um, it won't say all that, the word, that word multiple times. So you click on it, you turn this feature on, there's a version that has a one second delay, a medium two second and a three second, you can try each one. I, I would go with fast, the one second seems to be good. So you click that down, you click done. And now, can, can, can. It so it won't do it as much if you want a longer delay. Go back to user, access method, delay between selections. You can go to medium and now you'll see. Can, can. So it's even slower, so it won't select it um, as often. You can play around with this. You can start with more if you have if this is already an issue. The longer time, like the three second, and then decrease it as as that piece goes away. But this is just a way to kind of teach that that um, this is for talking and also not to constantly press one button and um, and have that be said multiple times because a lot of times for families and teams that becomes this barrier. Um, especially in a classroom setting or at home in a busy home. So hopefully this helps.